distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I want upfront to recognize APHA for giving me the opportunity to address this impressive audience in this wonderful city. I'm glad that this year APHA will examine the 21st century challenges on water and public health. This is a priority for the organization I represent and the discussions we will have here will be of great importance for the next year World Health Day theme that is dedicated to urban health. Water quality is a fundamental component in guaranteeing public health, maintaining bacteriological water quality and the fight against transmissible diseases of water origin is a constant worry to health authorities. The surveillance and control of drinking water causes important problems worldwide. Access to water is uneven globally. Latin America is the continent that has the most amount of water per capita, 48,000 cubic meters. This is 11 times Europe, nine times Asia, five times Africa, and twice North America with 21,300 cubic meters. However, due to population growth and the use of water in agriculture, the amount of water available per capita in Latin America decreased 50% from 1950 to 1980. 60% of the population of Latin America lives in 20% of the land area and has access to only 5% of the water resources of the region. Globally, improving water sanitation and hygiene has the potential to prevent at least 9.1% of the disease burden measured in disability adjusted life years or DALIS, a weighted measure of death and disability, or 6.3% of all deaths. Children, particularly those in developing countries, suffer a disproportionate share of this burden as the fraction of total deaths or DALIS attributable to unsafe water inadequate sanitation or insufficient hygiene is more than 20% in children up to 14 years of age. Annually, there are 1.4 million preventable child deaths caused by diarrhea, 860,000 preventable child deaths caused by malnutrition, 500,000 deaths preventable from malaria, and 280,000 preventable drowning deaths. In addition, there are 2 billion intestinal nematode infections affecting one third of the world's population that could be prevented. 25 million seriously incapacitated people with lymphatic filariasis and 200 million people with preventable schistosomiasis infections, plus 5 million people with visual impairment caused by trachoma that could have been prevented all of which are linked to water resources development and management. Without improved water resources management, the progress toward poverty reduction targets, the Millennium Development Goals, and sustainable development in all its economic, social, and environmental dimensions will be jeopardized. Water-related improvements are crucial to meet the MDGs, reduce child mortality, and improve health and nutritional status in a sustainable way. In order to achieve goal seven, which speaks about ensuring environmental sustainability, and target 10, which speaks about reducing by half the proportion of people without sustainable access to safe drinking water, Latin America needs to increase the proportion of its population with access to potable water from 84% in 1990 to 92% in 2015. With regard to adequate sanitation, the challenge is to increase from 68% to 84%. In addition, the MDGs induce multiple social and economic benefits, adding importantly to enhance well-being. PAHO and WHO jointly with other UN agencies are cooperating to promote 
the Global Framework for Action Initiative, aiming to review or establish national public policies and improve countries' capacities on water and sanitation. However, when looking at the advances achieved in recent years, regionally we must be aware of the tyranny of averages, as aggregated figures make the poor communities invisible. National numbers portray a comfort picture of achievement of the MDGs, but this does not reflect appropriately the unacceptable inequality that rural, border, indigenous, and Afro-descendant populations, women and children face within our countries in the most inequitable region in the world. Evidence demonstrates that half of the population of the world does not have access to water and sanitation. Yet the same evidence show that each dollar invested in this kind of service will save approximately seven to nine US dollars from the health services. Other studies show that for every dollar invested in water and sanitation, there is a saving up to 46 in social and development costs. In the case of an extreme event where infrastructures are destroyed, the cost to health will grow very fast. Moreover, populations living in small islands, developing states, in water scarce areas and in coastal areas will be directly affected by this phenomenon. The reintroduction of cholera into the region in 1991 had a negative economic impact of 233 million US dollars for Peru just in the first year. 